Double circulation. What is it and how does it work? I am Mr. Wilson. Stay with me as we take the journey through the heart, reoxygenating the blood and adding the loss pressure. This lesson is suitable for all students sitting biology, integrated science, and human and social biology CSEC examination. Individuals interested in the circulatory system may also watch this video. It's very important for us to understand this diagram. The question will be asked, why oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood. I'll explain that here. Now, as blood moves through the body, the process of respiration is taking place. Now, because respiration is taking place, it is using up that oxygen that we breathe in. And of course, carbon dioxide being a byproduct of respiration, carbon dioxide has been added to the blood and this needs to be removed. Now, the blood becomes deoxygenated as the oxygen, of course, was used up for respiration and carbon dioxide, like I said before, was added to the blood as a waste product of respiration. Now, this must be removed from the blood, hence the blood continues to move the waste around and finally emptying it off for the carbon dioxide at the lungs. Now, when it gets to the lungs, the blood becomes oxygenated as gaseous exchange takes place in the lungs where carbon dioxide, of course, is removed from the blood and oxygen, of course, is picked up. This, of course, is an example of diffusion. The gaseous exchange in the lungs is a good example of diffusion for those persons who continue to revise their content. Why is it double circulation? No, double circulation because the blood, of course, flows through the heart twice as it travels around the body. The diagram here will show. Let's follow the blood from the lungs. So we have oxygenated blood leaving the lungs and it travels down through the heart, goes down via the aorta through the body and then back up through the vena cava to the heart again and then back to the lungs. So let's look at it one more time. Oxygenated blood coming down with in red. The red oxygenated blood coming down goes through the heart, moves through the body, drops off the oxygen, picks up carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide goes through the heart, gets back to the lungs. Gaseous exchange takes place. And there we go again with oxygen flowing all around back to the body. Carbon dioxide going up again. And it's this continued process before we were born. It actually started where we are moving substances around the body as the heart continue to do an awesome job even before we knew ourselves. Now, we said yesterday that it's important for us to know both sides of the heart, the right side, the left side. Here we have labeled the oxygenated blood, which of course is on the left side of the heart, and the deoxygenated blood that is on the right side of the heart. The blood vessels are Coming down from the lungs, we have the pulmonary vein and it gets into the heart. The blood would have emptied off there in the left atrium. And then it moves through the heart, through the aorta, then to the body. And of course, up again via the vena cava to the heart and the pulmonary artery back to the lungs. I have labeled here A, B, C, D. Now, these are chambers of the heart which I expect you to fill in as I'm sure you would have watched our previous video on parts of the heart. Why would the blood need to pass through the heart twice? Wonderful question. Now, as blood passes through our organs, it loses pressure. A lot of the pressure is lost in the lungs, hence the blood returns to the heart for pressure. Now, the other organs of the body also reduces the pressure of the blood. You will appreciate the fact that blood in the arch is usually under high pressure. So if we were supposed to look at the diagram here, the aorta which comes from the heart to the body, 
the blood there is under very high pressure but as blood moves through the vein the pressure is reduced the vein has a valve to prevent the backflow so of course as the blood moves around the body it is losing pressure now if a blood does not get that needed pressure what will happen nice question whole lot of stuff can happen there would be major delay in removing waste from the cells this could lead to reduce oxygen in the blood and increase carbon dioxide in the blood this would cause the blood to become acidic now if the blood becomes acidic you're going to be having lesions or sore on the skin you are going to be easily tired because of course you are not getting the oxygen readily to the cells as you should the process of respiration would also be slowed down because there is no oxygen for the process of respiration to take place and of course the dire consequences would continue if not rectified it's like you had garbage outside and a garbage truck was supposed to call it the garbage and there is a major delay with the garbage truck a week or two or probably a month now you had garbage there before but because the garbage truck did not come on time now you have rats now you have flies now you have dogs and all this now you have this pungent odor all because of the delay so when there is a delay to remove any form of waste there is always going to be major problem or new problems problems we did not have before can this double circulation be grouped yes it can be grouped into pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation i want you to look at the diagram i labeled the area for pulmonary circulation as pulmonary circulation is taking place between the pulmonary arch the lungs and the pulmonary vein so once you can recall these blood vessels you are always going to remember what's pulmonary circulation remember that the pulmonary artery is the only artery that is carrying deoxygenated blood and the pulmonary vein is the only vein that carries oxygenated blood so you want to ensure that you remember that when we talk about the lungs which is one of those organs that we're supposed to know uh, the lungs supplying the lungs with blood is going to be the pulmonary artery and of course the pulmonary vein will be taking that blood away from the lungs now blood travels from the right ventricle through the pulmonary artery then to the lungs and back to the left atrium via the pulmonary vein and that pretty much tells us what is pulmonary circulation and where it takes place so you could just follow the diagram ensure that you're able to label and identify the parts of the heart because once you can this is like a walk in the park now systemic circulation again i label the lower part and of course blood travels from the left ventricle through the aorta to the body you might be asking where is the left ventricle now the left ventricle is right here and it goes through the aorta and of course it travels through the body and of course I wanted to remember that the head is a part of the body because most persons confuse this thing to say that the lungs is up there that's where the head should be and the, the head is probably a part of pulmonary circulation no the head falls in systemic circulation all right so just watch the flow remember you can go back to that labeling that we had just now and you'll be able to of course update yourself on the blood vessels but i could go through very quickly with you here we have the pulmonary artery here we have the pulmonary vein here we have the aorta here we have the vena cover and of course this is going to be the right atrium right ventricle left atrium and of course left ventricle now here we go the final thing we want to look at as the syllabus would have, have us do we want to look at that relation among blood vessels now the blood vessels they really don't operate in isolation though in most cases the blood does not mix now the arches would be carrying in most cases except for the pulmonary artery they would be carrying oxygenated blood and they are of course carrying blood to organs that bit is true all right so the arteries they tend to branch into smaller blood vessels called arterioles and these arterioles branch into smaller blood vessels too they are called capillaries all right now the capillaries is actually where the 
arteries intercept the vein because the veins they too branch into very small blood vessels called venules and these venules also branch into smaller blood vessels called capillary so the capillaries from both sides would be meeting and of course that is how we would have um, gotten the opportunity to carry the blood the oxygenated blood to the lungs always be reminded that the heart is not the place that the carbon dioxide is removed from the blood there are many diagrams around the place where you would have seen the heart and the heart in those diagrams is just to show that the heart is the pump and that is why we have a heart here to show you that the heart is pumping the blood but of course this is just to show you the relationship with the blood vessel this diagram usually has nothing to do with the gaseous exchange or the double circulation now at the bottom here where we have this little simulation here the organ here um usually we have what is called a capillary bed here i'll be doing a small video on the capillary bed so that you can understand that uh very well i didn't want to put it in here now on the left of the screen you'll find a diagram that represents pretty much how most of the diagrams that represent uh the relationship among blood vessels they would look something like that i do encourage you to continue with your study i ask that you join us on a friday and a sunday at 5 pm where we have biology hsb live that is on youtube that's my youtube live i want you to bring a friend when you are coming and remember to subscribe once your friend wants to participate in the conversation online they must subscribe to the channel or subscribe must be a subscriber have an account with youtube in order to participate it doesn't matter where you're from you can always participate once you want to participate it doesn't matter where in the world you are just click the link and let's get cracking now this takes us to the end of the lesson and like i said earlier remember to subscribe and when you do subscribe remember to hit that notification bell and of course share the link with as many person as is possible do stay safe see you sunday for our life